This is Dream Reality, and I'm your host, Mary Amy, coming to you from A1R Psychic Radio. My site is listed at the bottom of the screen, maryamyofficial.com. I'm an intuitive wisdom coach. As an empath intuitive, I'm able to connect your inner spirit, which allows me to use my extra sensory abilities, seeing, hearing, feeling information about you. I'm here for you. I see the light, the hope, and the beauty of the universe. I'm a conduit to channel your dreams, helping fulfill your earthly purpose, and course to personal enlightenment. On today's show, I have a guest and some callers. I am pleased to present Tina Dubois, founder of the Metaphysical School, a video-based educational platform featuring metaphysical contact from teachers all over the world. Thank you for joining me, Tina. How are you today? Hi, I'm great, Mary. It's very, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Tina, I believe you recognized the universal shift demanding information about the nature of being, existence, and reality. Please explain your inspiration for metaphysical school. Well, the goals of metaphysical school are to create a giant repository of metaphysics that people have questions, any type of metaphysical question can find the answers easily and be taught metaphysical knowledge through video education from teachers from around the world. And I feel that now is the time to get as much of this metaphysical information out there as, you know, like you said, we're entering this human consciousness shift and people are really looking for answers in terms of all things metaphysical, whether that's spiritual or ast astrological or um, in terms of divination and tarot and crystal healing and energy healing. There are so many people who are looking to heal, learn, and grow, and that is the tagline for this school. So um, <laughs> we're going to have video courses from teachers all over the world sharing, uh, sharing their metaphysical knowledge and passion. How many teachers do you have on staff right now? Uh, we're pre-launch at this stage. So I've been recruiting teachers for the last year and a half. And I have 91 teachers in our faculty at the moment. And like I said, that's all over the world. We cover Canada and the United States from coast to coast to coast. And we also have teachers in Australia and Europe. And we have a teacher in Peru. And so it's really, we're really covering the globe. I noticed that you had some, a range of really interesting subjects. Which ones are your favorites so far? Okay, well, um, I can tell you that the metaphysical knowledge is going to be divided into eight core subjects. And mm -hmm. of those subjects, my favorite are the crystal healing and intuitive abilities. Um, I am a crystal healing facilitator, so I do crystal healing sessions for people. And I also love to teach um, all aspects of crystal healing. That's actually how I started metaphysical school. Was I was giving crystal healing workshops in a crystal shop in a place where I used to live in Cochrane, Alberta. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I moved to a really small town uh, where crystal healing workshops just isn't uh, something that's going to go really well here. <laughs> so I wanted to start teaching online. Mm -hmm. So my favorite topics are crystal healing and the intuitive abilities. So I'm also going to be teaching empath skills as I identify as an intuitive empath like yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, how that sort of happened was um, about nine years ago, I literally woke up an intuitive empath. Before that, I had mm -hmm. not had any of these abilities um, since I was a, a kid. Mm -hmm. And I had to turn all of them off to go to university and mm -hmm. live my life as an adult. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I, you know, during that time, I was really sick and... I had kind of hit rock bottom and I went mm. to a, a body talk practitioner and she she did a quantum healing on me, but she also gave me a little tumbled smoky quartz and mm. I slept with it that night. And when mm -hmm. I woke up the next morning, all of these intuitive skills and empath abilities were turned on and I had zero skills. Wow. All of this extra sensory information. 
And so then I went on a journey to mm-hmm. learn about empath skills and how to cope with all of this mm-hmm. extra information. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, I, I have two science degrees, so mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I wasn't always, you know, into the metaphysical. I was really a deeply scientific person. And, um, <laughs> did you okay so about the crystals i'm really really excited about this because i, I think that you're going to show us some crystals and i know I, crystals have healing properties and you're a crystal sound healing facilitator how do the crystals heal and do you have any examples right there that you can share all the way from canada i do i have examples. what do you have um this is, this is one of my favorite uh, my favorite crystals. This is called an celestial smoky quartz. And in addition to the properties that a smoky quartz has, which is uh, deep grounding, the celestial part of it, which is um, the special feature, is determined by the folds and striations. You c- can probably see how many folds and striations this crystal has. Um, what it does, its extra metaphysical properties is that it helps you connect to Mm -hmm. your higher self Mm -hmm. and connect to, um, the spiritual realm, um, Mm -hmm. any of the higher dimensions, right? So this is one of my favorite crystals. Okay, wait, Uh, wait, wait, question about that. Don't go away. Okay, so that's that's huge, right? So my question is, I... I have these little tumbled gemstones, and that's a big, 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 enormous, beautiful crystal. So yeah. what's the difference? Is that just more magnified, and this is doing a little bit of help, and that does a lot of better help? What, what, tell me about that. And can people heal themselves with that, or do they need someone like you? Okay, excellent question. I can tell yeah. you that in the realm of crystals, Size does not matter. It is not. It's not about size at all. So really? your little tumbled, yeah, your little tumbled crystal that you have can yeah. be as equally powerful as this a giant crystal. Hey. Yeah, it, does, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, okay. I, you know, I also have another crystal. This is a small crystal Ooh. that I have. Um, this is a lithium quartz crystal with a number of special features. It has Lemurian lines and an Isis base, and it has some hieroglyphs on it. It's very cool. It's just little, you know, compared compared to this. And okay, so me, they are equally as powerful. So what does someone do? So they go to a store that has these beautiful crystals, and they don't have you standing next to them helping. What do they do with that beautiful crisp crystal? Do they, do they put it outside, bring it inside? What, what it, tell me, what, is it way more involved that you can't just say in one quick second? Well, how crystal healing works mm-hmm. is through energy. So you have energy and you have an energetic field and crystals have energy. They have an energetic field. So how crystal healing works is very simply their energy interacts with your energy. So you can, you can hold it, you can wear it as jewelry, like I have um, this necklace or I have you know, a number of bracelets, mm-hmm. but really it just has to be in your energetic field. That's all. And then Yay! it's gonna interact with yours through something called sympathetic resonance. And that mm-hmm. is how crystals affect your energy. Well, that's good news. So when it says sound, your crystal sound, so how is sound involved? What do you do? Okay. do you- so the crystal healing is one aspect of what I do, and the sound healing is another aspect. So I took some a number of courses um, called acutonics, mm-hmm. and uh, so I integrate the acutonics uh, modality with the crystal healing. So mm-hmm. with that, I use tools um, like uh, Tibetan singing bowls and uh, special tuning forks that you can buy, but really sound healing, it doesn't have to be special tuning forks. Any Mm -hmm. sound that Mm -hmm. you make can carry energy, right? Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. if you're intent to, um, for healing or whatever it is that you wanna do, whether it's energy clearing, whatever Mm -hmm. it is, Mm -hmm. you hold the intent that that sound that you create um, carries that intent and it will do what it is that you want it to do. So, Um, I did a session, I did a crystal and sound healing session yesterday, actually, it was wonderful. And Mm -hmm. we lay the crystals out Mm -hmm. um, on the body. And then I take out my tuning forks and my different, different tuning forks do Mm -hmm. different things. 
um, like uh, my tuning forks can ground you or can um, cause expansion or release mm -hmm. of things. It can mm -hmm. move forward. It can bring love. Mm -hmm. It can create mm -hmm. energy. Lots of different things. So, yeah, that's how. Okay. Okay. I have a question before okay. I forget. So let's say someone goes out and buys a lot of those. Is there an excess? Will it be too much if you have too many of those? Is you there a limit? Yes. I mean, those big crystals that you have, let's say someone had them all around their home and in, in a very condensed space. Will that be beneficial? Will that be an overload? Do you suggest that? Because I, I just don't want people to go out and overdo it. Like what's what's, a, what's a, a good place to be at? Is it one or two crystals or is it an unlimited? Uh, in in my opinion, it's unlimited. So um, okay. I like to call myself crystal addict, and I the ones that talk to me, um, that speak to me, and resonate with me. I you know I, I have a tough time not uh, buying them. Um, okay. So I have you know a, a, an extensive crystal collection. And in terms of are there too many? Mm. Uh, I don't think so. I there are certain vibrations I've read that don't interact well, but that's mm. not my philosophy. My philosophy, so if you wanna have a whole bunch of crystals in a very condensed space, mm -hmm. then just hold the intent that okay. the crystal energy um, mm -hmm. heals you in a way that is beneficial. And because when you're working with crystals and all things energy, you wanna ask for what you do want and not for what you don't want, right? Okay. So rather than say, I don't wanna be overloaded by all of this crystal energy, just say that this crystal energy this crystal energy benefits me um, for, you know, in, in ideal ways. Okay. Yeah. I love that. I, that's, I, I totally agree with you about intention. Okay. So I quickly wanted to ask you, uh, we both are empathic and you mentioned that. And um, I have to be very conscious of energies, outside energies. And could you please give our, our listeners and viewers some advice, words of advice, being an, a sensitive person or an empath? Absolutely. I just actually had a public speaking engagement where my whole talk was on bringing back balance and calm for especially sensitive people. So the sensitives that I spoke to were um, HSPs, which are highly sensitive people, um, intuitive, intuitively sensitive, and empaths. And my number one takeaway for mm -hmm. how to deal with outside energies, I know it sounds really simple, but it, it really is, is self-care. Mm -hmm. So self-care to me is about managing your energy levels and doing whatever practices that work for you to mm -hmm. recharge your energy levels. Because when your energy gets low, you can't deal with everybody else's, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the number one thing as an empath that I recommend to people is self cares manage your own energy levels. In addition to that, you know, there's filtering, there's crystal help, there's mm -hmm. mudras that you can use. Mudras are like, um, it's yoga for your fingers. This is a mudra that I'm mm -hmm. used to mm -hmm. really like. It, yeah. Do you, are you familiar with this? Well, I, I, when I was um, becoming a Reiki master, they taught us different, uh, different hand gestures. And um, it was a few years ago. I mean, I, yeah, I just remember there being something like this. I mean, you know, the, the age old thing is when people sit down and they do this, you know, right? They're like, Woo -hoo, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Um, okay. Tina, I am so impressed with your quest for knowledge, I would like you to share your estimated launch date and um, a way for people to reach you or find your school. Awesome. Uh, that's wonderful. Metaphysical School can be found online at www.metaphysical.school. If they want to stay up to date with all of our pre-launch giveaways and launch news, they can subscribe to our Metaphysical School uh, news email and mm -hmm. newsletter list and mm -hmm. that can be found right on the website there's a big subscribe banner or you can go to news.metaphysical.school either one will get you there and get you signed up mm -hmm. and in terms of a launch date uh, right now our faculty of 90 uh, teachers from all over the world are sending in their videos and mm -hmm. when we have 40 videos then we're going to launch and I guarantee it is going to happen by the end of the year and the best way to stay up to date with when we are going to launch our school 
is to sign up for that um, metaphysical school email list. Okay. I know that uh, I see many postings that you have on Instagram and Facebook. So you're reachable th- that way as well. You bet. Yeah. Our, okay. I, I love the Instagram account. We, we get a lot of social interaction to it. Um, it's, uh, it's very simple at metaphysical school. It's, <laughs> I'm really lucky to have scored, you know, that account and uh, Facebook, same thing at metaphysical school. I want to thank you so much for joining us today on dream reality. And I know that after you've launched, we're going to have you back. And um, I am we- as well going to be um, um, contributing to your school with some videos, which I'll talk about at another date. I, I can't wait for your dream reality. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have five videos planned. Let's get this going. It's a process. Uh, thank you so much, Tina. And um, have a wonderful week. Thank you. You too, Mary. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tina, for, for being on my show. I am grateful for that because I actually it's funny you know I I guess after a while your life becomes what you've already known and I know as an empath certain things that I should do and it's nice to get some advice from a fellow empath okay well we have a caller uh we have a caller from Brist okay um oops not yet not yet okay uh let me just remind everyone um some tips that I have for releasing negative energy, negative emotions, anger, sadness, fear, or pain. This works. You go down to a body of water by yourself. And um, it doesn't take a lot of thoughts prior. You just go down there and you speak out loud to the water, whatever it is that you want to get rid of. If there's a relationship, Relationship that's caused you pain, if you have sad feelings about something, if you're really, really scared, my suggestion is that you can, um, my suggestion is that I don't know how, I don't know how to disconnect. Um, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, um, my suggestion is you go down to the water and you just out loud say, um, whatever it is like i actually had a whole bunch of down there and i letting go of and i just listed everything like like there was a list in front of me and i just said this 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 and later that day i started to kind of feel like a little bit of um sadness and I cried a little bit but it was just a short period of time because I was releasing this 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 energy that took a place up inside of me took place inside of me and um and then the next day uh it was a little bit more and then after that good and then you know what happened it grew some good stuff to come in so I got rid of the bad stuff we have, we have Jackie from Chesapeake Virginia Hi, Jackie. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm actually really excited. So, um, well, immediately received information about you. Interesting. I saw this dark purple and black. And, um, and, uh, let's see. Um, I, so what I got was that you are someone who is, this is interesting. If you've ever gone to an old fashioned fair or circus and they had this uh, house of mirrors. So you would go into the house of mirrors and as you went to each mirror, you know, you saw your reflection or you, you didn't or you saw something else. That's the energy that I'm getting from you. I'm getting that you're somebody that has uh like many many sides but i don't even know if you know how many sides you have is there a direction that you would like me to go into uh yeah actually family family yeah Uh, i I have a whole bunch of um support from the other side and i just want to know if that's validated 
point and if there is any happiness in the path that I'm going okay. through. Okay, so I'm I'm receiving immense sadness from you and um it's I, I'm so sorry right now. Okay, so let's see what I see. Um all right, so I did get the connection from the other side. I, uh, all right, um, how do I say? Okay, so you, because the fact that you're actually asking the universe for happiness, you said that, uh, means that you can attain it, yes. However, there are, um, it's, it's like the, the road to it is, is very, very, right now, your road to it is like this. You can see my hands moving. It's back and forth. It's like a boat tacking in the water. And um, I am gonna make some suggestions for you to have a much more direct way to reach your happiness because when you gather up a lot of other people's energies and opinions, I can see that you're overwhelmed. I sense that you're overwhelmed and this is just too much. So. It's, it's interesting, we had a guest prior to this phone call and she talked about sensitive people. And um, right now, for whatever reason, you're like a raw nerd, you are uncovered. It's like you're being poked at. So let me make some suggestions for you. My Some suggestions would be, is um, to, number one is to make a quick list of People that are in your life that are positive. If there's one person, great. If there's zero per people, then you know. But make a list. If there's five people that are positive, hooray. Those are the people that you need to be spending time with or, um, uh, or not. I mean, don't spend time with anyone that's going to bring you down more than you already are. That's number one. So what you want to do is you want to be healing yourself right now. You don't want to be throwing yourself to the wolves, okay? You want to be healing yourself. And how you're doing that is you're going to protect yourself. And I talk about boundaries. Boundaries are like this. The only people that are allowed in my space are people that I've given permission to. So this is your boundaries. No one else is allowed in this space to first protect yourself. So that's what you want to start with. You want to start healing first. You want to start spending less time with negative people. And then you want to spend time doing things that you like to do that will bring you um, light and, and love in your heart. Take a walk outside once a day. Make sure that you're connecting to nature. Um, uh, anything related to nature will help you. Um, let's see. Other ways that you can bring light into your life are visualizations. You can close your eyes right now, close your eyes, and I would like you to imagine a beautiful glowing ball of light to the right of you. And it's so big that it's almost touching your head. And if you go to that thought once a day for one minute a day, it's going to change your perspective and it's going to change your vibration. It's going to raise your vibration and less negative people will be attracted to you. I do believe you can find your happiness. It's, it's, it's steps. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, okay, so I got a message from the outside from, from, from over, and it was, it was, actually, it was interesting. It was faint. It wasn't really super strong, and it was to believe and to just uh, keep moving and don't give up. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for your phone call today. And um, if you'd like, you can reach me on maryamyofficial.com or you can message me on my Facebook page if you have any questions or uh, if you would like me to kind of go over what we talked about. Uh, I'm on maryamyofficial.com. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm a little...
that was intense. Uh, I just want to say I was really lucky today that I received a message on Facebook for, from somebody who was interested in me interpreting their dream. And so I did do that. He uh, does not watch the show, so I, I, I sent him a message back. I want to thank everyone for joining me for today. Uh, and you can reach me on maryamyofficial.com. I'm hoping that we can all find the beautiful glowing light that's in our hearts. And um, tomorrow's another day. Keep moving.